What's up guys, Connor Thrifts back here. <laughs> Can't even do the intro. What's going on guys, Connor Thrifts here. First Connor Thrifts video on this channel. I switched from Connor Owns Fast Food to Connor Thrifts. We're locking up the black 29 inch booty and we are going to the thrift store. It opens up at nine o'clock, it's 8.45 right now. I can already see the employees coming to the front door. It's half off everything except for one color. All right guys, I'll see you inside. All right guys, we just came up. First off, we got a PS3 controller, no price on it, but hopefully it's like $3.99 or $4.99. We have this jersey, which is half off. We actually scored big on something. I'm so pumped up because I don't find them too often, but I do find them here and there. But first off, we have, well, you guys could already see it. Might as well show you. We have $9.99. This is not half off. Everything but red tag is half off. And we got the Boston Red Sox. Oh, so sick. Big embroidery on the back, $10. This thing is so dope. Does it have a little wear on the sleeve? Nope. This thing's in great condition. A little bit of wear right here, but I could just put some OxyClean gel stick right here, let it sit for like an hour, and then put it in the washer and it'll clean up pretty well. Then we have a Lacoste, and it says Novac. Probably like some type of tennis shirt. Lacoste Sport on the inside with this tag. So that's $4. And then this is a youth size for $5 large Anaheim Ducks. Probably get like 20 bucks for that. Really good day so far. I'm so pumped up that we found that satin. So sick with the spell out. I was thinking about getting this for myself. It's kind of like this Versace style. This is $5.99. Pretty good cop right there. You got the button front Harley Davidson embroidered on the back. And then I'm thinking about this for $3. It's a maybe with a North Face short sleeve plaid snap up. I think I'm gonna pass on it though. I don't know, I might get this for myself. It's so cool. It's just like unique and weird. Found this uh, Brass Jesus. Maybe I'll hang that up in my new house. Got the Robert Graham. I'm surprised this was still available. $7.99 half off, so that's only $4. I'll get like 30 bucks for that, maybe 35. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I sold pretty much all my personal stuff, so that'll just be like a nice, it's actually kind of like silky. It's definitely like a Versace style. That's what it reminds me of. It also reminds me of MC Escher. It's pretty cool. All right, so in the women's section, I was actually talking to my friend on Instagram, Story of Erica. I was gonna be like, hey, do you wanna video chat? And we're actually gonna do that in the future. We're gonna video chat or tell me what to buy. I'm gonna go through the women's section with her. And then we're gonna do like a collaboration video together probably. It does have a cool embroidery and it's long sleeve, but still just a little bit too much money. Sometimes I look through the women's section when I have extra time. So yeah, me and her are gonna do a collaboration video someday. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We're off to another thrift store. I got some breakfast. I already had this in my backpack. We have a cinnamon horn. And I got these at BJ's. It was $13 for 30 of them. I think I'm gonna go back and get more probably on the way home because there is a BJ's on the way home. And BJ's is like Costco or Sam's Club. But there's one more Goodwill that we're gonna go to. Pretty much gonna be doing trip to the thrift number 62 only at these two thrift stores because I feel like we have enough footage. I did end up picking up that all over print shirt. I know I'm not supposed to be buying myself stuff. I'm supposed to be saving every penny towards my house, but when I went up there, it was like $36.41 total. And usually they're really cool, like about like discounts and stuff. So I was like, listen, I have $40 cash. Will you do the extra shirt? Cause it was $5.99. So she gave it to me for half off. So $2.99, I told her to keep the change. So it was $40 for everything that we just picked up. The satin jacket alone is worth at least $60 to $70. Just cause it has that really cool spell out on the back. And it will take a little bit to sell to get that much for it. I could sell it for like 40, 50 bucks or like $40 probably to be fair. Yeah, I'm just pretty happy with the pickups. Even the Harley Davidson shirt, I actually, passed by it the first time because the price tag was covering Harley so I kind of like flipped through it because I thought it was just like a basic shirt really good stop we're off to Goodwill it was half off here but it's not gonna be half off at, at thrift store um, I just named like six different thrift stores at one time I said Salvation Army Thrift City without saying Goodwill so we're off to Goodwill in Boca Raton we're against the wind as you guys could see by this American flag right here. So we're going that way and the wind's going that way. So it's gonna be a little tough getting there, especially cause it's like three or four more miles down the road. It's kind of far, honestly. You guys understand what I'm talking about. I'll be going with the wind on the way home. So even if I have extra stuff, it's no problem. But I'm just gonna dig into this thing cause I'm starving right now. All right, so my Goodwill and I found a couple things. I'm gonna pass on this Miami Heat jersey just cause it's $9 and it's really faded. If it wasn't faded, I probably would pick it up. There's also a Brett Favre jersey over here size large, but they don't go for that much. Uh, there is a Fiedler jersey for $11. Just a little bit too much money for a lot of these jerseys. The Revis jersey, 
New York Jets for it looks like 15 vintage Adidas and it has a name on the back and they never put names on the back of the jerseys so we have Huge's number 10 I think it might be like game worn or actual jersey we have a psycho bunny shirt and then we have an affliction shirt so pretty basic finds but honestly this might be a score i'm not sure i think it might be game worn just from my experience like all this stitching looks so good northwestern number 10 i'll take the gamble for 11 dollars. i like when i take my gambles and it pays off do you guys see what i see i don't even think i've seen this color with you before jordan five i think they might be fake feels so weird and look at the uh, material it says from 2013 the size tag doesn't look too bad size 7 but look at all this wear on it usually Jordans don't have that let me look at the under the insoles see if they have they have the dot I guess they're real they're just really beat up so I was right they're supposed to be gray this just means they're so dirty that they turn like a yellowy color man that's bad if they're like five bucks though I'll grab them the cheapest pair sold for forty dollars the most expensive pair sold for two hundred I don't know if they're fake or not because why would this material be coming off like that say I pay five dollars for these and they sell for twenty five dollars I'll take that like I'm I'm fine with that that's good money I hope this is actually a game more and that would be awesome I hate when the thrift store overprices stuff like this twelve ninety nine look at that there's a lot of good games are all overpriced if they're like half the price of this, I'd be able to buy them. I believe that goes for like 30 bucks, $20. Pokemon X, $16. Pokemon Leaf Green. All right, guys, I ended up getting Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It was half off, so $3.50. It looks like a G, and green tag was half off. I think this game goes for like 15, 20 bucks, $3.50. I will have to test it and clean it, but hopefully it works. <laughs> if not, I'm sure I could still get $4 for it broken. People try to repair it and clean it. They don't care if stuff is broken. If you guys are watching this and you guys are already gonna complain, hey, you bought this for $5, why are you selling it for 30? I gotta make money. Look, I'm riding a bike. I'm not driving a car. I mean, that that's actually a bad excuse because like I don't have that many expenses. Like I don't have car insurance, I don't have car payments, but it's smart on my part because the thrift stores are only like five miles from my house. So I hope you guys have a nice day.